Good day, good day! <laughs> How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland! This is your friend Dan Oh, and guess what I got for you today? Yeah, this is something uh, totally crazy different. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, do you guys recognize these buggers? Huh? Check that out! Isn't she glorious? Isn't she grand, huh? Beautiful! Alright, well... Let's take a guess of what it is. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, all right. Oh, it's upside down. Ah, uh, epic fail. No. <laughs> what we're going to talk about today is the Majorette Range Rover made in France. And this is the number uh, 246. Number 246. And uh, this is in uh, 1 60th scale. So this is the Range Rover. Now I just jumped into this one because this one's really nice and neat. Um, I did some research online and uh, found a couple of information. You can see my little notes here. <laughs> I, I'm just going to just be honest with you, man. I need all the notes I can get. Now, interestingly enough, and uh, we're going to take a look at my best of the best for right now, but uh, Majorette did this uh, number 246, and this is the first model of the 246 that came out, and they came out 1978 and ran till about 1988, and in 1988, this bugger came in to play and is now what they would call the 246, okay? So there's two models, uh, two distinct models, and uh, but with the same number, but kind of the same thing. So let's get back to the what they would call the um, rescue unit. Um, so I'm not really sure. Um, well, I tell you what is because in the beginning they were called rescue units. And then later on in 88, they were called the rescue team, okay? And, uh, and, that's, and, and that's where they came in with the uh, rescue team on the front there, uh, 166, or number three, okay? But uh, if you remember, this, this one's got a number three on it too. So <laughs> kind of a little bit different there. So um, yeah. So right now, the, this is kind of the rescue unit, which came into the rescue U, uh, team. All right, so this one here is the first and oldest one I've got. And I was really tickled pink. Uh, kind of a, a neat little story behind this is uh, I was collecting these. I was buying these. Most of these I bought off eBay. There are a couple that I bought in person. Um, but uh, I was uh, dating a young lady. Well, actually, she was older than me. But I was collecting these, and I would buy them off eBay, and she was just so upset, so upset that I was buying these pieces of junk off eBay, you know. And you know how I am on eBay, you know. I got, you know, I don't buy overseas. Five dollars is my limit, you know. And I buy anything and everything. Five dollars shipped. I don't like paying for shipping. Well, anyway, I'd been uh, collecting these for a while, and. I had had these for a while, and and uh, just you know, that some of the other ones back there I'd had for a while, and uh, just uh, really kind of neat. And then I bought this one, and come to find out, look at that! There's Blue Men in there. Yeah, the Blue Man crew, and this was uh, one of the first uh, first uh, edition. Now this one's missing the white ladder. This would have a light a white ladder, uh, 200 series, no tampos on it. Uh, blue light, uh, and they call this the, the the blue unit because it had the blue men in there. Yeah, look at there. They're all suited up and everything. So it was kind of neat. Uh, and I really, I mean, you know, that if you're going to collect stuff, you know, you kind of collect anything and everything. And, you know, I kind of keep track of uh, Hot Wheels variations and Matchbox variations because... There's a lot of database for that, but for something like this, there's not a lot of database. There is a, a one uh, uh, guy that I look at 
Uh, I believe it's on Phantom Wiki, I think, is the uh, the group that I look at. And they've got a pretty good, uh, you know, stuff, but it's it's not quite in-depth. But I love it. I, I It's all I got. Now, this one you see did get painted over a little bit, um, but at the white interior, which carries through the back and, and has the tab on the back for the uh, rear ta uh, hitch, which is missing on this one. But the big thing is it has the blue men in it um, with the blue window. And uh, just really kind of cool. Um, so I was it was a happy misstep that, that I got. Um, so that was uh, 1980s to 1984. Uh, you can pick these up with the Blue Man Crew. And if you don't know who the Blue Man Crew is, uh, Google that or go to Vegas. One of the two. <laughs> go to YouTube and put in Blue Man Group. So, all right. So the next year, I'm not really sure uh, on the year on this, but this is the next step per se. Um, blue windows, it would have the uh, uh, white ladder uh, and no, um, no guys inside. Uh, white interior, but you can see where those guys are sitting. They're supposed to sit, you know. Uh, so really kind of cool there. Now this one, you can see the uh, tow hitch there, exactly what that's supposed to look like. And uh, very nice. This is a pretty pretty good example. Um, they all pretty much had this these kind of wheels on them. Uh, I'll, I'll bring that out. But this would be after 1984, um, they, they put in this blue windows and then drop the dudes, the blue man crew there. So really, really kind of cool. So blue window. The next step we're going to take to is, um, 1985 to 1987. And this is where, um, they, um, were the rescue units before that. And then they kind of transitioned to this rescue team and started putting decals on it. Now, no, more, more or less, they just had the one on the hood. There are some special uh, editions of these that had some on the sides and stuff like that, but uh, not too many of them. So this is, um, uh, let me see if I can read my notes here. Yeah, clear, clear windows. Now this is supposed to be clear. And uh, like I say, this is a very nice rendition of it. Uh, white ladder on top just kind of hooks on there uh it's, it doesn't really hold on too awfully much and uh a uh, little bit better than the matchbox uh, ladders but white interior got a clip on the back there to hold your uh trailer in place and uh, very very nice now they're all pretty much the same on the base uh, these are old enough to where they do say made in france uh, there are uh, later on models uh, from Majorette that do not have that. So these are actually uh, made in France. So I had a couple of uh, couple of uh, renditions of this. So uh, really cool to have these in my collection. These are kind of the nicer ones here. Uh, but very good uh, detailing. I like that. That's a classic Range Rover front end. Man, that just is really sharp. I really like that. Uh, simple enamel red. It's a uh, left hooker. And uh, there's two guys in the front and then uh, four guys in the back. And uh, pretty, pretty neat. So this again is the clear unit, uh, window unit with the uh, white. And uh, then I've got the old crummier one here. But I uh, can maybe see a little bit more. All right. So then I have, uh, and the, the, they call those uh, 4V wheels. Let's take a look at some nice 4V wheels, okay? Let's start with that. So they call those the 4Vs. One, two, three, four. You can count them 4V. All right. So uh, very, very nice. Now I do have this one here. And I really couldn't find much about it. A uh, really rough shape. Uh, like I say, I buy this stuff uh, sometimes, and then I get it, and then I can do research on it and stuff like that. But it's got the sticker still on it. This would have had the uh, white um, ladder to it. Now, the only thing is, is you can see that these wheels are different. 
these are what they call uh, the traditional dot dash wheels from Majorette. Uh, the website that I went to did not have this listed, so I am not really sure what's going on there. Uh, I don't have any kind of year, uh, uh, 85 to 87 maybe, but uh, it has the uh, dot dash wheel. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to post, uh, I've done other majorette uh, videos before. I, I'll post maybe up here and at the end, we'll try to post some more uh, majorette. But you can see it's the same uh, thing. It's, it, you know, it's got a peened uh, post there, so it hasn't been tampered with, you know, as far as I know. But uh, there you go. So, these cars came uh, individually on a card back. Uh, which would represent the 200 series is what they'd call it and then they did a uh, 300 series and that I've got a couple of these these I bought off eBay um, I believe maybe this one I bought in person it's got a nice uh, nice little tag there yeah 1980s fire rescue which is actually a res the rescue team but here is um, 376 fire engine and tanker uh, originally these were a 169 and I'm not really sure what uh, what that came from that that's a dated sticker but uh, action moving parts I'm not really sure what's moving on this part but anyway but here it is uh, little trailer and the later uh, no blue man group uh, car rover with the clear windows so pretty neat let's flip this around so you can take a look at the back collect all matronette quality die cast scale replica uh, replica <laughs> i can't even read today uh, <laughs> rep reproductions oh my goodness what in the world is going on today I think I need to have another Mountain Dew. No, <laughs> I don't drink Mountain Dew. Uh, so over 150 models. Take it out. Check it out here. Here is the Majorette du Doubles a Series 300. Uh, very neat. Now you, they don't have any um, date or anything on these like they do uh, uh, Matchbox or anything like that. So I really can't uh, give you a timeline. And like I say, the the um, reference guide that I use on uh, online and I, and I really do want to say that it was uh, Phantom uh, uh, had, they just do list just the variations for the cars themselves so this is one that I did actually uh, was able to find on eBay just a beautiful example uh, but it's the um, it's a 300 series and uh, sorry for the glare there. A uh, little bit different packaging. I believe this is the earlier packaging. And, and boy, oh boy, uh, you guys over there, I think this is kind of more across the pond. Now, this trailer has kind of jumped its uh, thing there. And I don't want to wreck the plastic uh, styrofoam or try to get it back in place. But it's, a, it's all right. But, uh, yeah, I think these are the early packaging that uh, Majorette used. Uh, plain and simple on the bottom and then on the on the edge here it's a cardboard that kind of collar around that white piece and then the plastic dome goes all, all over the whole thing and then they cr heat crimp it there and uh, keep it in place so let's see uh, now most of this is in French because this is from France um, made in France but not suitable for children under 36 months and I think there's some German in there too. But this is what they call the 300 series because the 300 series has uh, uh, two parts, you know, a trailer or something to the, to the back end. The 200 series, from what I understand, are just the automobiles themselves, whether it's a Land Rover or not. But yeah, so there you go. So it's kind of neat. I, I really kind of uh, uh, find it fascinating so it's it's neat that i've got the both packaging there uh the carded and as well as the loose and now as you see i have one loose and i bought this early early on 
in uh, my Land Rover collection. Let's see what kind of a price I gave for this one. I bought this in person at, oh, this came off, uh, person at a car show or a toy show. $750, not bad. Uh, Majorette uh, team, rescue team. $750, not bad price. Uh, it's in pretty darn toot and good uh, condition. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, trailer a little bit here. Kind of the same sticker for the uh, front of that, but a little bit different, you know, because it's on the trailer. Rescue team, 116, uh, number three. So uh, I'm not sure. Doesn't that open? I don't know. Can we, can we, boy, oh boy, that's metal tabs. I don't know if those really open or not. Maybe that's the moving parts. I'm not sure. I'm just so worried about opening this stuff. If it's supposed to open. Does anybody know out there? Man, that's uh, the uh, tabs. The plastic would have to move on that because that, that tab there is, uh, if we can get into focus here, that tab is metal. So the plastic would be the one that would have to open up. Boy, oh boy. I wonder if it's got some kind of paraphernalia and all that uh, in the uh, in the thing. Man, I just hate to break that plastic, you know what I mean? Doesn't help that the car's hanging off there. Let's see if we can gently take that off. Oh boy. Take a deep breath, see if we can pop this off. I think it does pop off. Let's let's give it a shot. Oh, now I dropped my screwdriver. <laughs> If we can get in focus, that would that would work out too, huh? You know? All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. But uh, yeah, you can see how that clips in there, and I'm I'm gonna try it. Ah, uh, man, if I screw this up on live live TV, it's gonna be a horrendous thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we're getting it. We're getting it. Nice and gingerly there. Are we keeping it in frame? Somebody tell me. All right, well, we got that one end popped off, one side. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't think we're supposed to take that apart. There's nothing in there that's really gonna <laughs> be beneficial. <laughs> All right, well, I think we got that apart with, without any really damage. Did I chip some of the paint off there? I don't know, I'll have to check the footage. <laughs> I don't see any paint flakes around, but anyway, let's take a look. <laughs> so don't take that off. You don't need to take that off. I did that for you. You don't need to take that off. Nice little sturdy. The bottom here is uh, metal, made in France. What is it, 21760? Yeah, majorette. See how they painted it, and then they crimped the wheels over there and chipped the paint off there. So uh, very, very kind of cool. Not too bad. So then the white part is plastic and then the uh, top part is plastics as you see as we took that apart. And so then this is the, the, the motor that went with it. Uh, the 4V tires, clear uh, windows, uh, very nice example. So there you go, there you go. All right, so there you go, nice, nice little uh, take a look around the majorette uh, number 246 Range Rover. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for <laughs> for uh, holding on there while I destroyed, <laughs> took apart, well, I didn't destroy, just took apart that uh, trailer and put it back together <laughs> just to see if it was supposed to be a part or not. But uh, there it is. Let me know what you guys have. I, I got a couple of questions there. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Come over to Facebook. I know a couple of you guys, Ralph and, and Roy, uh, maybe Gary's got some input on these. Uh, you know, all you guys uh, are great help. Uh, one of the reasons why I started this channel is to learn more about what I have and to learn about more of what is out there as far as Land Rover models. Yes, anything and everything Land Rover. That's what this channel is all about and camaraderie yes let's collect together all right all right thank you for joining me as i said come over to facebook roverland join up free 
free, no uh, tax duty or uh, anything like that. And on Instagram, Roverland Channel. Check that out as well. All right, I'm going to call it a video. We had a pretty lengthy one there. I usually kind of keep them 10 minutes, but that's all right. Hopefully you enjoyed this during this uh, trying time. So yeah, I got to remind you, keep calm and carry on as always. And I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.